good morning my dear students this is raja arjun working as assistant professor in the department of chemistry bvrit narsapur so today we'll discuss about polymers so in last class we discussed about uh, definition classification of polymers and the free radical addition polymerization so we all know that this a polymer polymer is nothing but it is a high molecular weight compound formed by the joining of large number of small molecules or small atoms so the process of joining together of large number of small molecules or small atoms are called uh, small molecules or small atoms to form very big molecules are termed as uh, very big molecules are termed as polymerization that overall process is nothing but polymerization and that small molecules which combine with each other each other to form very big molecules are not, are termed as monomers so examples of polymers are polythene polyvinyl chloride teflon nylon nylon 6,6 bakelite etc etc next classification coming to classification so polymers can be classified in several ways based on structure right based on types of monomers next uh, based on tacticity and uh, based on uh, synthesis so classification number 1 is uh, based on uh, type based on types of uh, based on structure so based on structure again polymers are of three types linear chain polymers branched chain polymers and cross linked polymers right next based on types of monomers again the second classification is based on types of monomers so based on types of monomers again polymers are of two types homo polymers and co polymer homo polymer and co polymer homo polymer means it is formed by the polymerization of one type of monomer and the co polymer is nothing but it is formed by the polymer uh, when two different types of atoms or groups are joined in the same polymeric chain then the polymer is said to be what co polymer so based on types of monomers again polymers are of two types homo and co polymer right so classification number 3 based on tacticity based on configuration so based on configuration again polymers are of three types isotactic polymer syndactic polymer and third one is atactic polymer so isotactic polymer isotactic polymer is nothing but in isotactic polymer all the functional groups are on the same side of the polymeric chain next syndactic polymer in syndactic polymer all the functional groups are uh, all the functional groups are present on all the functional groups are uh, on the uh, once again or i say in syndactic polymer all the functional groups are present on the uh, once again right so classification number 3 that is based on types of uh, the third classification based on tacticity configuration so based on configuration again polymers are of three types isotactic syndactic and atactic so isotactic polymer in isotactic polymer all the functional groups are on the same side of the polymeric chain next syndactic polymer here all the functional groups are present alternatively on both the sides of the polymeric chain alternating manner right that is syndactic polymer next atactic polymer is nothing but in atactic polymer all the functional groups are arranged randomly on both the sides of the polymeric chain so same side means isotactic alternating manner means syndactic and random manner means atactic this is classification number 3 based on configuration based on tacticity next classification number 4 that is based on synthesis addition polymers and condensation polymers so based on synthesis again polymers are of two types addition and condensation so addition polymers are nothing but these polymers are formed by the polymerization of monomers without elimination of atoms or groups without elimination of atoms or groups 
and this type of polymerization is known as <coughs> sorry addition polymerization next condensation polymerization or condensation polymers so condensation polymers are formed by the polymerization of monomers with the elimination of atoms with the elimination of atoms or groups like water alcohol etc 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 next examples of condensation polymers are nylon 6.6 bakelite terlin etc etc so this is about classification <coughs> next <coughs> sorry in last class we discussed about free radical addition polymerization mechanism of free radical addition polymerization so this free radical addition polymerization it consists of three steps initiation propagation and termination so here in free radical addition polymerization monomer monomer is activated by the action of light heat or by adding some chemicals known as initiators known as initiators and the examples of initiators are benzyl peroxide and albn that is azo bis isobutyrone nitride so like i said this mechanism consists of three steps initiation propagation and termination in initiation step initiation in initiation step always formation of reactive particles takes place here reactive particle is nothing but free radical so formation of free radical takes place next propagation it consists of a growing polymeric chain growth of polymeric chain next termination in termination step the growth of polymeric chain is finally terminated end of reaction finally terminated so initiation propagation and termination right so initiator is benzyl peroxide and monomer is olefin right so today we will discuss about thermoplastic polymers and thermosetting polymers so we all know that the first thermoplastic polymers so thermoplastic polymers are on heating these thermoplastic polymers on heating they become soft and these thermoplastic polymers are linear polymers are linear polymers and these thermoplastic polymers these can be remolded or reshaped remolded or reshaped and these are mainly formed by addition polymerization addition polymerization without elimination of atoms or groups so these uh, thermoplastic polymers are, uh, are formed by addition polymerization and examples of thermoplastic polymers are polyethylene polyvinyl chloride teflon so polyethylene polyvinyl chloride teflon polystyrene etc etc next thermosetting coming to thermosetting so thermosetting polymers on heating these thermosetting polymers they become hard and these thermosetting polymers are 3d and cross linked polymers 3d and cross linked polymers and these thermosetting polymers are formed by condensation polymerization these are mainly formed by condensation polymerization right next uh, these thermosetting polymers these these cannot be remolded or reshaped and examples of thermosetting polymers are bakelite nylon 6.6 and terlite right so differences between thermoplastic and thermosetting polymers that i'll write here differences between differences between thermoplastic and thermoplastic and thermosetting polymers right so one side thermoplastic thermoplastic thermosetting 
थर्मोप्लास्टिक पॉलिमर्स सो ऑन हीटिंग फर्स्ट पॉइंट ऑन हीटिंग दिस थर्मोप्लास्टिक पॉलिमर्स दे बिकम soft in thermosetting on heating they become hard on heating they become hard next these are thermoplastic polymers are linear polymers and Thermosetting polymers are three D and cross-linked polymers. Three D and cross-linked polymers. Next, thermoplastic polymers. These can be remolded, remolded, or reshape, remolded or reshape. next the uh, thermo setting these cannot be remolded cannot be remolded or reshaped next these thermoplastic polymers these are mainly formed by formed by addition polymerization addition polymerization what is addition polymerization addition polymerization is the thing but it is formed by the polymerization of monomers without elimination of atoms or groups next thermosetting polymers next thermosetting polymers are formed by these are mainly formed by condensation polymerization condensation polymerization that right? what is condensation polymerization so condensation polymerization is nothing but it is formed by the polymerization of monomers with the elimination of atoms with the elimination of atoms or groups right it's so nothing but condensation polymerization that next examples of thermoplastic polymers examples of thermoplastic polymers are polythene polyvinyl chloride polystyrene teflon etc etc next examples of thermosetting polymers examples of thermosetting polymers are bakelite bakelite gamma nylon 6 gamma 6 nylon 6 gamma 10 terlin etc 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 right so differences between thermoplastic and thermosetting once again so on on heating these are thermoplastic polymers they become soft whereas on heating this uh, thermosetting polymers they become hard and these thermoplastic polymers are linear polymers and thermosetting polymers are 3d and cross linked polymers next thermoplastic polymers these can be remolded or reshaped whereas thermosetting these cannot be remolded or reshaped next thermoplastic polymers these are mainly formed by addition polymerization these are mainly formed by addition polymerization next thermosetting polymers these are mainly formed by condensation polymerization mainly formed by condensation polymerization and examples of thermoplastic polymers are polythene polyvinyl chloride polystyrene teflon etc etc and examples of thermosetting polymers are 
take a light, dilot 6 comma 6, tear lip, dilot 6 comma 2, button, etc. etc. Right. So, this is about differences, differences between thermoplastic and thermo set. Right. Next. Next topic that is preparation, preparation, comma, properties and uses of the following following compound uses of the following compounds preparation properties and the uses of the following compounds in that first one first compound polyvinyl chloride polyvinyl chloride so polyvinyl chloride what is polyvinyl chloride so polyvinyl chloride pvc so name itself indicating vinyl chloride vinyl group that is ch2 double bond chcl vinyl vinyl group right so this polyvinyl chloride it is mainly formed by the polymerization of vinyl chloride mainly formed by the polymerization of vinyl chloride that is so this vinyl chloride right so here I am writing preparation. So N moles of vinyl chloride that is CH2 double bond CH single bond. Right? CH2 double bond CH single bond CL. In presence of initiator. Here initiator is nothing but Benzyl peroxide, benzyl peroxide, and formula for benzyl peroxide is C6H5COOCO6H5 initiator under the influence of high pressure, right? So, polyvinyl chloride it is formed by the polymerization of vinyl chloride, right? That is CH2 double bond CHCl uh, to form, right? What should I write here? CH2 instead of double bond, single bond CHCl. Next, CH2 CHCl. That, that. Yet times. This is PVC, polyvinyl chloride, right? Polyvinyl chloride. So, polyvinyl chloride is formed by the polymerization of what? Vinyl chloride. Vinyl chloride. Right. Next, properties and the uses. Properties and uses. First point. So, this vinyl chloride, it is colorless, odorless and inflammable substance. Colorless, it is colorless, comma, orderless, and not inflammable substance. Substance, done. Next, it is highly resistant to. Weather and all the chemicals highly resistant to weather and chemicals. Next, third one. So this polyvinyl chloride it can be it can be plasticized, right? Plas the polyvinyl chloride. So it's a plasticity. Polyvinyl chloride's plasticity can be increased, plasticity can be increased by adding plasticizers, right? So, it's, pla the, it's plasticity, it's plasticity can be increased, it's plasticity can be increased by adding plasticizers, by adding
plasticizers. So generally plasticizer, plasticizers are added to increase plasticity and the flexibility. So commonly used plasticizers are tributyl phosphate, tetrabutyl phosphate and the triglycyl phosphate. Right? These are mainly added to increase plasticity. Right? So its plasticity can be increased by adding plasticizers. Next, PVC. It is mainly used as insulating material. Insulating material used as insulating material. Next, it is mainly used for making used for making sheets, our pipes, sheets, pipes, and reed ports, etc. etc. Right? So properties and uses. This is about PVC. First carbon is polyvinyl chloride. So polyvinyl chloride PVC it is formed by the polymerization of vinyl chloride under the influence of benzyl peroxide, which is nothing but which acts as initiator. Am I clear? So this is about preparation. Next thing, properties and uses. Coming to properties and uses, colorless, odorless and non-inflammable substance. Next, highly resistant to weather and all the chemicals. So, this uh, PVC plasticity can be increased by adding plasticizers, right? Uh, examples of plasticizers are tributyl phosphate, triglycyl phosphate and tetrabutyl phosphate. Next, used as insulating material, right? Next, last one is used for making sheets, pipes, raincoats, etc, etc. Right. So this is about PVC. First carbon, PVC. Next, carbon number two. Second carbon that is carbon number two that is Teflon. Right. Teflon. So Teflon. So Teflon can be prepared by the polymerization of tetrafluoroethylene, tetrafluoroethylene under the influence of high pressure, right? So preparation, tetrafluoroethylene, right? Under the influence of high pressure and also influence of benzyl peroxide, right? So tetrafluoroethylene, what is tetrafluoroethylene, right? That is nothing but CF2 double bond CF2 tetrafluoroethylene right so n moles of CF2 double bond CF2 tetrafluoro tetrafluoroethylene tetrafluoroethylene CF2 double bond CF2 in presence of benzyl peroxide Right. Uh, to give what Teflon that is C what's it that is C of two single bond C of two yet times this is nothing but Teflon this is nothing but Teflon right next. Properties and uses. Properties and uses. Coming to properties. First property. So due to the presence of high electronegative fluorine atoms, right? Due to the presence of presence of high electronegative fluorine fluorine atoms. Right, this Teflon possesses high melting point and high density. High melting point and high density. Right, high melting point and high density. It is highly resistant to all the chemicals. Right, it is highly resistant. 
to all the chemicals to chemicals chemicals except alkalis except alkalis right highly resistant to chemicals except alkalis next and this teflon it also possess high toughness it also possess teflon possess high toughness it also possess high toughness next it is used as insulating material insulating material it is mainly used used for making stock cock stock cock for burettes making used for making stock cock for burettes stock cock for burettes next this teflon is also used as used as anion exchanger anion exchanger used as anion exchanger right so this is about teflon right so teflon can be prepared by the polymerization of tetrafluoroethylene under the presence of benzyl peroxide which is nothing but initiator initiator right cf2 single bond cf2 take it again types is nothing but teflon so tetrafluoroethylene to teflon under the influence of benzyl peroxide properties coming to properties and uses properties and uses so due to the presence of high electronegative fluorine atoms right this teflon possess high melting point high melting point and high density it also possess high toughness and it is highly resistant towards all chemicals except alkalis right and it is used as insulating material used for making stock up for burettes and used as anion exchanger right so many examples are so many applications are there right so used as anion exchanger used it for making stock up for burettes right etc etc so this is about teflon next carbon number 3 Bakelite. Uh -huh. Bakelite. What is bakelite? Bakelite is nothing but thermosetic polymer, right? Thermosetic polymer, right? So this bakelite is for this bakelite preparation, right? Preparation. so this bakelite preparation is consist of three steps it consist of three steps the three steps so here monomers are nothing but phenol formaldehyde monomers are phenol formaldehyde so this bakelite is formed by condensing phenol phenol with formaldehyde phenol with formaldehyde so the initial step of the reaction it results in the formation of ortho para derivatives that is ortho hydroxy methyl phenol and para hydroxy methyl phenol that is step 1 so like i said this bakelite right bakelite is thermosetting polymer then it is Uh, formed by condensing phenol. What is phenol? Phenol is nothing but C six H five O H, right? So phenol. Here I am writing phenol with formaldehyde. Formaldehyde H C H O. Phenol with formaldehyde right hcho phenol formaldehyde resin is known as bakelite phenol formaldehyde that so the initial step of the reaction it results in the formation of 
two derivatives, ortho para derivatives. That is ortho hydroxy methyl phenol. Sorry, ortho hydroxy methyl phenol, right? Ortho and para derivatives, ortho hydroxy methyl phenol plus one more that is para derivative, that is para hydroxy para hydroxy. Para hydroxy methyl phenol. Para hydroxy methyl phenol. <coughs> Two derivatives, ortho and para derivatives. So here, condensing phenol with formaldehyde. Two derivatives resulting in the formation of ortho para derivatives. Which reacts to form a linear polymer called Novolab. That is, here I am taking ortho derivative. So, step 2. <coughs> Phenol plus ortho derivative, that is, ortho hydroxy methyl phenol. Then moles. CH2OH here hydrogen right so this formula ortho hydroxy methyl phenol it reacts with the phenol to form novolac linear polymer called novolac that is one sec Plus ortho hydroxy methyl phenol. Sorry, right? Loss of water minus N H two O. Loss of water minus N H two O. Loss of water. Right. So minus N H two O. That is formation of novolac. That is OH CH2 C6H5 OH next CH2 C6H5 OH and so on. N times. Right? This is nothing but formation of novo lag takes place linear polymer linear polymer that is nothing but no lag linear polymer that is nothing but no lag so first formation of no lag takes place right that next step 3 so at this point during molding, hexamethylene tetramine is added. Hexamethylene tetramine is added. So, at the addition of hexamethylene tetramine, it provides formaldehyde and converts this soluble novolac, converts this soluble novolac into a hard insoluble solid of cross-linked structure that is nothing but bakelite. Formation of bakelite takes place. So, that is step 3. Novolac, Novolac plus hexamethylene tetramine. When Novolac is heated with hexamethylene, hexamethylene tetramine, hexamethylene tetramine, right? Novolac plus hexamethylene, hexamethylene, one sec. 
hexamethylin tetramine gives rise to bakelite gives rise to bakelite so nolac plus hexamethylin tetramine that gives rise to bakelite so the addition of this hexamethylin tetramide it provides formaldehyde that is nothing but hch4 formaldehyde and converts this soluble nolac into a hard insoluble solid of cross linked structure cross linked structure that is nothing but bakelite so what i want to say is nolac nolac plus hexamethylin tetramide gives rise to bakelite so structure of bakelite structure of bakelite that i'll write here structure of bakelite that is h n types ch2 c6h5oh ch2 c6h5oh and so on again ch2 c6h5oh CH2 C6H5OH Next are those CH2 C6H5OH and OH and so on. Right? So this is bakelite, bakelite, cross-linked polymer is nothing but bakelite. So preparation once again. So this bakelite. Um, so preparation, it can this preparation consists of three steps. Step one, step one is phenol plus formaldehyde. When phen uh, so it is formed by condensing phenol phenol with formaldehyde the initial step of the reaction it results in the formation of two derivatives ortho para derivatives ortho hydroxy methyl phenol para hydroxy methyl phenol which reacts to form a linear polymer called nolac step 2 is nothing but this ortho hydroxy methyl phenol it reacts with phenol to form linear polymer that is nothing but called nolac right next coming to step 3 so here at this point during molding hexamethylene tetramine is added so this hexamethylene tetramine plus nolac gives rise to bakelite so addition of hexamethylene tetramine provides formaldehyde and converts this nolac into a hard insoluble solid of cross linked structure that is nothing but bakelite so nolac plus hexamethylene tetramine gives rise to bakelite gives rise to bakelite so this is about preparation preparation of Bakelite. Next, properties and the uses of bakelite. Properties and uses of bakelite. So these bakelites are very hard, insoluble, and the cross-linked structures. These are bakelites are very hard, very hard, comma water resistant very hard these are very hard water resistant and insoluble solids very hard water resistant and insoluble solids that next these are highly resistant to many acids highly resistant to many acids a uh, non oxidizing sorry highly resistant to non oxidizing acids non oxidizing acids and 
many organic solvents and many organic solvents highly resistant to non oxidizing acids and many organic solvents next but these are highly attacked highly attacked highly attacked by alkalis by alkalis that is mainly due to the presence of no due to the presence of oh group highly attacked by alkalis that is mainly due to the presence of which group oh group that next this bakelite is used as insulating material insulating material used for making insulator parts like switches switch boards switches switch boards plugs cables and wires etc 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 used for making insulator parts like switches switch boards plugs cables wires etc etc next this bakelite it is also used as hydrogen exchanger hydrogen exchanger used as hydrogen exchanger next it is used for making telephone and radio parts telephone and radio parts used for making telephone and radio parts right once again these are very hard bakelites are very hard water resistant and insoluble solids resistant to non oxidizing acids and many organic solvents attacked by alkalis that is mainly due to the presence of oh group right insulating material used for making switches switch boards plugs wires etc etc hydrogen exchanger telephone and radio parts used for making telephone and radio parts so this is about bakelite third compound bakelite and we left with nylon 6,6 .6 thermosetting polymer nylon 6,6 and terlene terlene is also thermosetting polymer that we'll discuss later preparation and we left with preparation properties and uses of nylon 6,6 .6 and terlene right that we'll discuss later right so that's it thank you so much like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates